Okay, what's up fellow traders? So today is um, 7th of September. Okay, it's the weekend. So hopefully you're having a good weekend. But um, if you're at home, okay, starting how to be a better trader, then um, this video lesson is for you. So let's get started. So today's topic would be three things that winning Forex traders do that losers don't. Okay, so hopefully um, you are not making these mistakes, right? But um, the first one that we want to talk about would be win, winning Forex traders trade with an edge. Okay, so just want to clarify that the edge doesn't mean that accuracy is 100% or even more than 50%. I think a lot of times people think that um, you need to have a very high hit rate. Okay, um, that's not necessarily true. Okay, you can also make money if you have a 30% hit rate. Okay, but how is that possible? Okay, imagine if every time, you know, you are right, you make $3, right? Let's say you raise $1 and if you are right, you make $3. So, so basically your risk to reward is uh, 1 is to 3, correct? So if your risk to reward is 1 is to 3, then uh, even you have a 30% hit rate, correct? So maybe out of 10 trades, correct? Maybe I write it down, 10 trades. 10 trades, 7 losers, okay, 3 winners, okay, what does this mean? So if every time you, you lose, you lose 1%, one, 1%, one for example, so you are minus 7%, and every time you win, you make 3%, right, because 1 is to 3, so you will plus 3 times 3, okay, so if, I mean, you do basic maths, you know, you'll still be up to percent. Okay, so the lesson here is that you can make money uh, even with a 30% hit rate, okay? In fact, top traders, they do not have like 100% accuracy rate or 90% AT is very difficult to do. Um, normally, the average between about 50, okay? If you, if you study like books, you read materials, you will realize that a study was done on top traders and normally the average about 50%. So the best traders are only right about 50% of the time. But it's their ability to um, hold on to their winners and cut their losses that actually make them a very profitable trader. Okay, so what it boils down to is expectancy. Okay, so what is expectancy? So expectancy is when you take your winning percent, right? Let's say you are right 60% um, of the time, times your average win, right? Minus your loss. So, of course, if let's say you are winning 60%, then your loss has to be 40%, correct? Because 60 plus 40 has to add up 100%. You either win or you lose, correct? So, if you do this and you get a positive number, then you are said to have a positive expectancy. So, this is what you want to aim towards, right? You want to aim towards having a positive expectancy in your trading strategies, okay? Not just focusing on accuracy rate, okay? So winning forex traders, they don't, don't just look at you know, how many times you get it right. They look at how much they normally make when they're right versus how much do they lose when they are wrong. So hopefully, you are not thinking like the, like the first instances that uh, we just said, you're thinking like a winning forex trader. Okay. So a question to ask yourself today would be, does your strategy have a positive expectancy? I mean, do you know how much you can expect to make in a risk to reward per trade over time? Okay, maybe let me just shift this up. Do you know? Because uh, if you do not know, then chances are you probably do not have a strategy that uh, has a positive expectancy. And number two, you probably don't really know your numbers. Right? What do I mean by you don't know your numbers? If you do not know, like for every dollar on average, I will make 150, right? It's very hard for you to trade with confidence because you do not know. But if you know, you take the time to back test, you take the time to... Um, demo trade, you build up your confidence level, right? Or you learn from a mentor who is proven, who has a proven track record like us, right? Like our Forex course. Then you, over time, you know, okay, every dollar I put in, I can kind of get uh, 150 back, correct? And it gives you a lot of confidence knowing that, okay, it's okay if I lose in this particular trade. There's always another trade, okay? So that's the first point that we want to talk about, trade with an edge. So I'm going to repeat this one last time. If you do not have a trade with, that has a strategy, that has an edge right now, please do not trade your live account, okay? Please go learn something, backtest something, right? Or just follow our signals because we have proven that our signals have an edge in the market, okay? So anyway, on to point number two, okay? Winning Forex traders do things that uh, losers don't, right? So what do they do? They focus on the process, not results, Okay, a lot of times I see like, you know, struggling traders, they always focus on the dollar amount. You know, they come like, oh, I made X amount of dollars, okay? I mean, it's good. I mean, we're all happy if you make money, right? Personally, we are so very happy if you make money. But winning Forex traders 
always focus on the process. Because if we focus on the process, the result takes care of itself. But if you focus on the results, right, nothing changes, okay? So if you read over here, by the time you focus on the result, it's already too late, right? Because it's your process that determines the results. So you, you're trying to change your results at the end, right? You get the result, you try to change it. It has, you have to change your process. If you do things a certain way and it results in, it leads to this outcome or this result. Then if you want a better result, then you need to change the way you do things, right? So in this case, we would like to also talk about four types of traits. Okay, I don't think a lot of people talk about this. Okay, the four types of traits that uh, you should know would be, the first one is good setup that was a winner. Okay, this is something that everyone wants. Okay, I mean, everyone wants this. Okay, the second one is also, I mean, not ideal, but it's okay, right? It's a good setup that was a loser. It means your execution was on point, you follow the system, you know, you stick to your risk management, and it's just, just a loser. And that's fine because, you know, um, trading is like that. There's no such thing as 100% and it's okay, okay? So this is fine. The third one, which is the worst kind of trades that you can ever take, okay? This is the worst kind of trades. Do not do trades like this. It's a bad setup that was a winner. Okay, so why do we say that this is the worst kind of trade set, um, like types of trade you can take? Very simple, because you will be conditioned to think that, oh, um, this setup works and you will repeat this over and over again. For example, let's say um, the, the setup wasn't complete, but you say, oh, no, I'm going to just take it anyway. Okay, so that, that trade ends up in a winner. You tell yourself, oh, so next time I can just take a trade, something like that, even though it, you know, even though it was counter trend, okay? So maybe in your trading plan, you say, okay, I will not trade counter trend, but when you execute, you actually took a counter trend trade, okay? So you make money, you reinforce your own psychology that, oh, you know, it's okay for me to violate my own trading plan. It's okay to violate my risk management parameters. It's okay to, you know, um, not follow my, my, my strategy, right? So this is very, very bad, okay? The last one is a bad setup that was a loser, okay? Between three and four, between this and this, this is still better because if it's a bad setup and you lose money, at least you feel pain, right? You know that like, I made a mistake and that's why I lost money. So at least it reinforces your psychology that, okay, I, I did this and that and that cost me money. So in the future, I'm not going to do this, right? So at least this is positive in the sense that, you know, it, it, it kind of reinforces reinforces your psychology, but not in this case, okay? So, I mean, as obvious as, as it gets, as a trader, your job would be to focus on doing this too very well, okay? Focus on doing this, this two kind of trades the most, and this too, you, your job is to reduce it, okay? Make sure that you do not, you have as little of this as possible, okay? So, um, early on, we said, right, your goal as a trader is to focus on the first two, Okay, focus on this, right? Uh, if possible, write in your training journal, was this a good setup that was a winner? Classify your trades so that you can study um, your patterns. Like, do you have a tendency to take bad setups, right? Um, you need awareness, right? In trading, you need awareness and that's where a trading journal comes into handy, okay? Uh, maybe in our next video, we will talk about a training journal, something that we do every single week, okay? As much as we are updating you, uh, in our Telegram channel about our trade results for the week. We are also updating ourselves and trying to understand like, um, why are we making money? Are there some trades that we shouldn't take? Right, we are always studying it. And this is what we do on Saturdays. Okay, so just to reiterate the last point, taking a bad setup that ends up as a winner is the worst thing you can do because you will be conditioned to do it again, okay, over here. So do not do this, okay? Your job is to reduce this. Okay, so move on to the last point. Last pointer that we want to talk about today, okay, that winning forex traders do that losers don't, okay? Winning forex traders, they wait patiently, okay? They wait patiently for the market to come to them, meaning that they are waiting for the, you know, they are waiting, they are not chasing after the market. There's, there's a very diff, big difference between you chasing after market and you waiting, okay? I think a good question to ask yourself um, would be, uh, do I trade because I want to trade or do I trade because uh, there is an opportunity, right? That if, if you can answer yourself honestly, you can be candid about, you know, you can be honest with yourself about this question, then it gives you a lot of insights about whether are you actually chasing the market uh, or are you just patiently waiting for the market to come to you, okay? 
So winning forex traders have a training plan which they stick to day in and day out. Okay, consistency comes from executing the same strategy day in and day out, not from hopping from system to systems or signals, signal provider, right? Um, signal provider to signal provider. Okay, think about it. What is consistency? Consistency means that you can do the same thing, right? You can keep making profits, right? That means your actions have to be the same every single day. Okay, so. It's always mind-boggling to think that um, traders, you know, new traders, they think that they find consistency by um, jumping from systems. I mean, you cannot get consistency if you are always changing things, okay? In fact, the f if you keep changing systems or signal provider, that is also consistency. You are consistent in changing system. And consistency in changing system or system hopping is not going to give you consistency in profits. So maybe I write that down. Cons Okay, if you are consistent in hopping from system to system, will not be consistent in producing profits. Okay, so this is a very important point. Okay, if you are consistent in hopping from system to system, then you will not be consistent in producing profits. Okay, so do not system hop. If you decide that our system is for you, that our signal is for you, then stick to it. Okay, you don't have to use our signals, but you do have to commit. It's very important that you commit for a period of maybe about two, three months. Okay, you can find other signals provider. You can find other, you know, YouTube channels. You can learn from other people. I don't, I don't really care. Okay, but what we want to draw into you would be that you need to be consistent in following through. Not just, you know, follow one week and then, you know, this signal lose money for a week, then you... You, you abandon ship and then you jump to another signal provider. Okay, that is the fastest way to blow your account. So do not do that at all costs. Okay. So just the last point, when in a trade, winning forex traders are patient in waiting for the trade to play out instead of micromanaging their positions. Okay, this comes from inherently accepting the risk that their trade can be a loss. Okay, learn to accept that losses will occur and it is okay. Okay, so this is huge, okay? So one of the reasons why um, you are probably micromanaging your trade is because you have not accepted the risk, okay? What, what do I mean by not accepting the risk? Think about it. If you set aside, let's say, you take this trade and you set aside $100. Let's say if you are wrong and you lose $100 and you are okay with it, okay? You are perfectly okay with it. You accept the risk mentally. What happens if the trade takes you out at, uh, you know, it trades against you, right? Would you feel like, would you feel upset? Or would you like get very nervous, you know, and then you start doing funny things like you shift your stop loss further, okay? If you are shifting your stop loss further, right? Or you are like doing, you are just doing a lot of things to trade. Maybe you shift, take profit, shift the stop loss, add in position, you're doing all this kind of stuff, basically micromanaging the trade and not sticking to your trading plan. Then it's a high chance that you did not accept the risk. Because if you accept the risk and you can really tell yourself that, okay, I put this trade in at this price and I'll exit at that price. And if I'm right, I'm going to make this amount and you can, you accept the risk. Then you shouldn't have any problem actually sticking through it, you know, like just hold through the volatility. Let's say price trades against you. So be it, right? Because you know, I'm already prepared. So a lot of times people try to avoid a loss. They do not accept the risk and they try to avoid the loss. That's why, you know, when the trade goes against them, right, by maybe 20 pips, 30 pips, right, they get all, you know, flustered, right? And when you are in a bad emotional state, right, you are flustered or you are not thinking straight, you make uh, dumb decisions, right? Then after the event has happened, after the trade has closed, you, you tell yourself, you tell yourself stuff like, oh, you see, I actually know that I should have exited. I know that that was the right thing to do. But in the moment when that trade was happening, you can't see it because, you know, you're emotional. Okay? So one of the skills that you can learn would, that is very important to, to becoming a winning forex trader would be to learn to accept the risk. Okay? And uh, learning to accept risk is not something that happens overnight. Okay, um, the, a good way to start would be to trade small account, right? Get comfortable, maybe risking $10, right? And then if you find that, oh, you know, I have no problem sleeping, I have no problem worrying about $10, then ship it up $20, right? $20, $40, $80, $100, right? Do not just like jump straight into trading and try to risk like $1,000. And when, you know, like maybe say your monthly paycheck is only $3,000, you're risking $1,000 per trade. And then it's obvious why you cannot sleep, right? Or it's obvious why um, like you're worried really worried about your positions, correct? 
So let's say if you start small and you lose ten dollars, twenty dollars, I mean it's just ten dollars. You do not think too much about it. So always start small and build up your account. Okay. So in our previous video, we talked about how do you grow a small account, right? How do you grow an account in twenty nineteen? And we gave you some tips over there. So you've not watched that video, please go watch it. Okay, spend your weekends like today studying our materials. Okay, we have a lot of videos on YouTube. Watch them, right? We produce it just for you because we are here to help you. But you know, these are content that uh, you need to go through yourself. We cannot help you digest this content. You have to put in effort, okay? If you want to be a winning forex trader, you need to work for it, okay? But if you just want to follow our signals, then yeah, I mean, if you just want to rely on our hard work, that's fine. But if you want to develop a skill set, then you must put in the effort, okay? We took 15 years to come to where we are today. Uh, we didn't get here overnight. So put in the effort, right? Watch our videos and we'll record more videos like this. Okay, as always, if you have a question, comment down below. Okay, subscribe to our channel because we'll generate more content like this. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a good weekend, guys.